I play music because uh, I, n I need to chase something. The reason I love like writing these songs though is I love the idea of something simplistic that can like provoke like an emotion out of you know what I mean like whether that be like a simple piece of art or a simple song and, and all my songs are really relatively simplistic you know they're storytelling songs and, and what I love about storytelling songs though is the fact that you listen to it and you have a memory that comes to your mind or you go somewhere you have an emotion that you don't even understand at first you know and um, it's fascinating kind of to me I think I am kind of a defiant person in it, and it's it's just part of who I am is almost to not necessarily rebel recklessly for no reason, but almost that idea where question everything, you know, and struggle with things, be okay with struggling with things and, and pushing back as opposed to being told what to do and just going with it. And um, So when I say defiance, I'm really thinking of kind of that idea of wrestling with life and, and not settling for the status quo or settling for just the easy answer. I wrote Dust, Dust to Death is a, is a very personal uh, song. I, I, on a day in day out ba basis I see people struggling through life and dealing with hardships and trying to reconcile their hardships and faith and hope and a dark world and just trying to figure out like how um, to hold on to like this idea of goodness um, in such an ugly place. But Love in My Arm is, is again that uh, it's it, Love in My Arm is about I think what I, I'm kind of a idealist when it comes to romantic stuff and Love in My Arm kind of is about the adventure that is romance, you know, let's run away for good this time. And then it talks about, like, let's have a breakfast out at the sea. You know, all these are kind of like, a, like, a elaborate, like, descriptions kind of. And I, and, I, and I like that song because, I don't know, I think I think it should be an adventure. I think it should be exciting. And I, I think that when it becomes routine and mundane, that's that's the problem. And, and so that song is, it's just a fun song. I, I just really, I really like that song. I think it's fun. Yeah. I wanna do it with my love on my own. We drove I was, I was, uh, there's a point in my, in my life where I was in a relationship with a girl where um, we were kind of the only two that believed in each other. And there's a line in the song where it says, uh, We drove all night long as if someone was still on our side. Like, you know, we just had to kind of believe or muster up this idea that there were people actually backing us. Um, just so we could proceed and, and, and chase after whatever it was that was in store for us. So Bravery Songs is about just romantic defiance, I guess, and, and having the bravery to, to march on and drive on. Because it takes bravery. And we pulled up close to that first foot of snow There's a, there's, a, there's a thing in Chicken Soup for the Soul like two years ago, okay? And it was a stupid story about a, a guy and a girl who like grew up together and they kind of got separated over time. And, um, and being the sap that I am, I kind of like just got sucked into it a little bit and ended up writing a song about it. And um, I played the song for my mom and she got like, a little emotional and cried. So I knew it was a winner. And <laughs> I'm not, I, 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 I've kind of just stuck with it the whole time. So it's a... Uh, that's Sarah Girl. It's just a, it's a it's a story of, of two people coming together when they're young, um, life happening, and then and then finding each other at the end of it. So you took a train Yeah, Minnesota Man is a is a is another storytelling song. Um, but really, I, I just wrote it because I kind of wanted just to talk about Minnesota a little bit in a song. Um, I, I love this land, I love this area, I love the Twin Cities, I love kind of the, the music scene, everything that's happening, I just love everything about Minnesota. And so if there's a way for me to actually say that a Minnesota man is the ideal kind of uh, human being, 
I was obviously going to capitalize on that opportunity. Yeah, I know. All right, guys, I'm going to play a quick song. Um, again, I thank you for stopping by and checking out this stuff and just being interested in what's going on. Um, this one's called Love of My Arm. It's on the EP. Coming out soon. Thanks. Well, it's run away for good this time when baby blues are going to make you crash. You don't know the first thing to fall in Should have chosen me. 